Imagine one night you look up at the sky, and the moon is gone, not hidden by clouds, not eclipsed, gone. What would happen next? Would Earth remain the same? The answer is far more dramatic than you think. In this video, we'll explore a world without the moon, diving deep into physics, oceanography, biology, climate science, and even human culture. The moon doesn't just light up our night skies, it holds our planet in delicate balance. Let's discover just how fragile and fascinating that balance really is. The moon's gravity is the architect of Earth's tides. It pulls on our oceans, creating bulges that shift as Earth spins, giving us high and low tides. Remove the moon, and those ocean bulges vanish. All that's left are the much weaker solar tides, about one-third the strength. Beaches would become unnaturally calm. The rhythmic breathing of the sea, in and out, would fade. Estuaries would dry up. Salt marshes would collapse. Countless species that rely on tidal timing for breeding, feeding, or migration would struggle or go extinct. Shellfish beds, mangrove forests, coral reefs, entire ecosystems could unravel. This is not just an environmental shift, it's an economic one too. Coastal communities that rely on fishing or tidal energy would suffer immediate and lasting impacts. Humanity might underestimate this at first, until we begin to feel the consequences ripple through food chains and weather systems. Our planet's 23.5 degree tilt isn't random. The moon helps keep it stable. Without the moon, Earth's axis would be left vulnerable to gravitational nudges from other planets, especially Jupiter. Over millennia, Earth's tilt could swing wildly, from a gentle 10 degrees to a staggering 45 degrees. Imagine seasons going from mild to catastrophic, deserts turning into tundras, tropics freezing over, ice sheets rapidly advancing and retreating, climate zones would drift, agriculture would collapse in many regions, animal migrations and plant growth cycles would go haywire, entire civilizations may have to relocate or reinvent food production from scratch. A stable axis is key to planetary habitability, and the moon is what makes it possible. The full moon is about 14,000 times brighter than the next brightest object in the night sky. Without it, nights would become 100 times darker. For wildlife, this is no small issue. Predators like owls rely on moonlight to hunt. Sea turtles' hatchlings use it to find the ocean. Insects, amphibians, even fish have evolved alongside this light cycle. Humans too. Our history, from ancient rituals to agriculture, is rooted in lunar phases. No moon means pitch black nights in rural or wilderness areas. Artificial lights might fill some gaps, but they're harsh, scattered, and not tuned to natural cycles. Darkness might feel heavier, more isolating. Studies show crime and traffic accidents rise during darker nights. Urban life could grow more tense. Mood disorders and seasonal depression might increase in severity or become more common in equatorial regions. Without the moon, the psychological and societal effects of darkness could become a hidden crisis. The moon tugs on our oceans, slowing Earth's spin over time. Millions of years ago, days were only 18 hours long. Without the moon's drag, this slowing would halt. Worse, Earth's rotation could begin speeding up again, especially if other gravitational influences exert force. Days might eventually shorten from 24 hours to 22, then 20. It sounds subtle. But even a change of 15 minutes would affect biological clocks. Plants, animals, and humans rely on consistent day-night cycles. Circadian rhythms regulate sleep, hormones, metabolism, and mood. Shorter days could trigger more stress, insomnia, and immune disorders. Crops grown in artificial daylight cycles might suffer. Animals dependent on dawn slash dusk signals for hunting or hiding would become out of sync with their environment. Evolution would eventually adapt but many species might not survive the transition. For as long as humans have existed, the moon has been a symbol. In ancient cultures, it guided planting and harvest. It marked time before mechanical clocks. Myths and stories were woven around its phases. The word lunatic comes from the Latin for moon, luna, based on the belief that it could influence mental states. Even today, some studies suggest full moons correlate with ships in sleep patterns and hospital visits. Remove the moon, and we lose this psychological anchor. No more full moon meditations. No more lunar festivals. No more waxing and waning to track time and tides. Culturally, the moon's absence would create a void. Spiritual traditions that depend on it might fade. People may feel more disconnected from the cosmos. 
It's not just a rock in space, it's part of our identity. The moon doesn't just reflect light, it protects Earth. Its gravity pulls in or redirects space debris, shielding us from meteorites and asteroids. Think of it as a celestial bodyguard. Without it, Earth would become more vulnerable to cosmic impacts. Over thousands or millions of years, the probability of large-scale collisions could increase. A single asteroid strike could cause global devastation, as it did for the dinosaurs. The moon also slightly stabilizes Earth's orbit around the sun. Its absence could introduce tiny but cumulative shifts. Over tens of millions of years, these changes might make Earth's orbit more eccentric, swinging us farther from the sun in winter or too close in summer. It's a long-term risk, but one that makes you realize we're not as isolated from cosmic threats as we think. Life evolved under the influence of lunar cycles. Coral reefs spawn in synchrony with full moons. Crabs migrate in rhythm with tides. Birds, fish, and even mammals use moonlight and gravitational cues for migration and mating. Remove the moon, and you pull the thread on a vast web of life. Nesting cycles collapse. Migration paths become lost. Predation patterns become chaotic. Even human fertility has been speculated to link with lunar cycles, although the science is mixed. Still, hormonal and behavioral cues could subtly shift. Biologists would face decades of uncertainty, trying to recalibrate our understanding of time-driven evolution. Without the moon, Earth becomes biologically unstable. It may not be apocalyptic, but it would be profoundly disruptive. Could humanity replace the moon? Theoretically, we might try. A massive satellite array in orbit could replicate moonlight for ecosystems. A tethered asteroid could try to mimic tidal forces, but nothing comes close to the moon's perfect balance of mass, distance, and influence. To recreate it artificially would cost trillions and take centuries. More importantly, it wouldn't restore the cultural or biological bonds humans share with the real moon. Terraforming another moon, like one of Mars, and moving it to Earth's orbit. That's science fiction for now. In reality, losing the moon is one of the few scenarios where we wouldn't have a true backup plan. We might adapt, but not without scars. The moon is more than just a light in the sky. It's a stabilizer, a timekeeper, a guardian, and a symbol. If it vanished, Earth would not be destroyed overnight, but it would slowly unravel. Tides would die, climates would spiral, and life itself would have to reinvent its rhythm. From space physics to psychology, the moon's disappearance would trigger a cascade of change we're only beginning to understand. So next time you look up and see its soft glow, remember, that quiet light is holding the chaos at bay. Thanks for watching Science Labs Express. If you found this fascinating, hit like, subscribe, and share the mystery. Until next time, stay curious.